When using Next.js, we can take advantage of all the components and tools they give us out of the box. Like the Next.js image component that has Cloudinary support built right in, allowing us to both use the features of the image component like layouting and responsiveness while using the power of Cloudinary. So after you import your image from Next Image, we can simply swap our existing image tag with the image component. The only issue is by default that doesn't work because we need to make sure that we add any domain we're trying to load an image from to our allowed list. So to fix this inside of our next.config.js file, we can add a new property of images where inside we wanna also add a property of domains, which is going to be an array where we're going to add res.cloudinary.com or wherever the domain is that we're serving our images from. Now, because we made a file to our next.config.js file, we need to make sure we restart our development server, where once it reloads, we can see all of our images load right in the browser. If we look in the web inspector, we can see that the images are now being served from slash next slash image with that URL, which is the Next.js mechanism in order to provide all those benefits. But what if we wanted to serve our images directly from Cloudinary and take advantage of some of the same features of the image component only baked into our Cloudinary URL? We can instead take advantage of the loaders functionality where we can take advantage of the built-in Cloudinary loader. Now to do that, inside of our next.config.js, the first thing we're going to do is replace our images domains key with a loader, and we're gonna set that to Cloudinary. We then wanna set the path, which is going to be our Cloudinary address, which includes the domain and our cloud name, where then we can specify our Cloudinary address, which by default is res.cloudinary.com or whatever your custom domain is. And then I'm gonna include my cloud name, which in my instance is Colby Cloud Examples, but make sure to use your cloud name here. We also wanna make sure we include the asset type of image as well as the delivery type of upload. But then anywhere that we're referencing our Cloudinary URL images, we wanna make sure we remove that part of the address from each of those URLs. So if we can see here, I have my res.cloudinary.com with my cloud name, the image asset type, and the delivery type. I'm going to select all of the images that include that, and I'm going to remove that beginning segment. Now, as usual, because we made a change to our next config, we want to make sure we restart our development server. But now once we reload the page, we can see all of our images loading inside of the browser. And if we actually inspect it, we can see that they're loading from a Cloudinary source, where we can even see if we look closely that it has the URL parameters like a traditional Cloudinary URL, where we have our format of auto for modern formats, our queue of auto for automatic quality compression, as well as any of the other parameters that Next.js is using with that loader component. So in review, we have multiple ways of how we can take advantage of Cloudinary in a Next.js application, whether that's simply adding it to the allowed domains for the next component, or if we wanna actually set up the Cloudinary loader so we can take advantage of all the different Cloudinary features while still taking advantage of the Cloudinary experience that you would expect.